A string of news publishers has signed content and licensing deals with OpenAI, prompting journalists to ask, what's in it for us? Publishers like Vox Media, The Atlantic, News Corp, and Axel Springer have all signed multi-year deals with OpenAI over the past few months. The deals largely give OpenAI access to current and archival news content to train ChatGPT and other foundational models. In return, OpenAI provides publishers with AI tools and products, and OpenAI will cite and link back to publishers' articles that are surfaced in response to a query, something publishers hope will generate traffic back to news sites in this burgeoning era of chatbot searches. Publishers also say AI media deals could provide an additional revenue stream to the news business. While none of the deals involve generative AI being used to write articles or mimic author voices, that is exactly the threat that looms above journalists and other creatives. Writers at some of those publications told TechCrunch that they had no idea their employers were planning on handing over their work to OpenAI, a company many of them say has been essentially stealing content that it didn't create and didn't pay for to train its AI models. All of them say they're concerned that publishers are making short-sighted deals that will ultimately harm writers and journalism as a whole. In response, news guilds are picking up the pace of negotiations to ensure journalists have AI protections similar to the ones Hollywood writing teams fought for last year. The Atlantic's Union, for example, put forward a proposal that says AI will not be used to replace fact-checking, copy editing, and illustration. Fox's media union also believes AI is a mandatory subject of bargaining. Such protections are important as publishers all seem to come to the same conclusion. AI is going to steal our work anyway. Might as well get paid for it.